So we're back in Maryland. We are, we're actually camping in one of our favorite places. This is um, a state park that has a lot of big stripers coming through. And we've got a cabin here. Um, and we're, we're, we've got everything set up for striped bass. But I want to catch some fish to eat. And I really want to grill some up. We're not allowed to keep the stripers right now because they're breeding. And during this time, it's very important that you're letting them go. And it's very important that you're being responsible with your striped bass fishing. So since we can't eat the stripers right now, we're gonna try and catch some perch to eat. And perch are, are pretty feisty little fish. They're fun to catch and they've got good meat. I think it's gonna be great on the grill. Right? Mm -hmm. And then, a bit of bloodworm just for the scent. So you end up only using a little piece of bloodworm and a nice tough piece of bait on here. So if this gets bitten off, you'll still have squid on it because that's nice and tough. And you won't be wasting a lot of bloodworm at a time. I've been using this method for stripers and, and perch, white perch for a while now. And it seems to be working the same as if I were to just use all bloodworm. But it lasts a lot longer. But lasts way longer, yes. So just put a piece of squid on, and then put bloodworm on, just like that. Bloodworm is way, way grosser than bleh, like most baits, I feel like. So messy. and bloody and disgusting. What? <laughs> There's like poop everywhere. All right, but look at this squid. It's like so easy. It's practically see-through, huh? <laughs> Shut up. Okay, here's my bait. Was correct. Hello, small guy. You want a live line or no? And back out she goes. <laughs> Hello, tiny stripe. Wow, baby, baby. Go back. We'll catch you again in three years. Bye. Oh, you got something. Oh, Lord. What? I got a perch. Nice. That's a nice one. We could nice. definitely eat that if we wanted to. Yeah. What does it feel like? It's a, probably a schoolie. But still. Or it's a big perch. I don't know, let's see. Oh, not bad. Yes, Brendan! Schoolie, but it's peel drag, but let's get ready for more. Yeah, it's a little fat boy too. Okay, really? Stop. Here, let me show you how to do this. No! First of all, let me take that off. 
I thought I had it on. <gasps> I do! I do! I do! I do! I do! <laughs> That feels like a good one. It's not a good one. It's just, whoa. It's a yellow perch. It is? It's a yellow perch. It's a very pale yellow perch. <laughs> it's an albino perch. It's an albiner? Albiner. Bit on the squid. Bit the squid. You want to put your bells on here? Ding, 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 a ling, a ling. <laughs> This is. What does it feel like? Mm, it feels like either a big perch or a catfish. And guess what it is? Catfish? Catfish. Mm. Meow meow. Well, this is a weird looking catfish. <laughs> What's so weird about it? First of all, look at all. Oh, why okay. is it a rash? I'm not touching this catfish. Don't. Nice. All right, that's a nice one. Let's eat that fat boy up. All right, I think we've got enough. I think so too. Yeah. You ready to go eat? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go, go eat. Okay. Here we go. It's a little bit of a trek back to our campsite. So we're back at the cabin now. Here are the fish that we've got. And um, we're leaving it whole. We just salted it like this. Took the scales off and we're gonna grill this. We're gonna do some surf and turf here because we got some grilled meats. We're camping guys, we're camping. And here, we're getting the charcoal started. Once that's ready, we're gonna start grilling. on. Fish is ready. Looks pretty good to me. This one's sizzling. Mmm. Looks good. Mmm, this looks good. You see how the white perch meat is? I forgot how about... I haven't eaten a white perch for a while. Well? They're delicious. Mm. They're delicious. Mm. How is it, Aaron? It's Del really nice. It kind of honestly reminds me of like the trout. It's like a nice white fish meat, you mm -hmm. know? I think it tastes a little bit better than the trout. I agree, actually. All right, thank you guys for watching. That was uh, that was our, our first catch and cook in a while. That was delicious. But it was it was delicious, mm -hmm. and I, I hope you guys like our catch and cook episodes. We had a lot of suggestions to do this kind of episode, um, and hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, comment below. Let us know what you liked about it. Let us know what you want to see next, and uh, we'll continue to do it.
On ZegoScripper.com, we've got a lot of ebooks and tutorials where you can learn how to tie knots, learn what rigs to use, learn how to tie those rigs, learn what lures to use and where, all sorts of stuff. I encourage you guys to sign up for uh, our, our free membership to SenkoSkipper.com because you'll be able to download all of these PDFs and it's, it's all in one place that you can refer back to. So check it out. See you guys next week.